Happy New Year. I thought we would all be together today, but um, looks like we will have a video lesson instead. So go ahead and grab your notebooks and get ready to take notes with me. This is section 5.5, use inequalities in a triangle. Um, feel free to change the playback speed and make this faster and feel free to pause it if I go too fast and you need to pause it to have more time to write things down. Um, this is going to be a fairly quick video and then I have another um, made by someone else for you to watch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to write out a theorem. We're just going to talk about something. So let's draw a triangle and let's make the sides different lengths. Hmm, it kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Let's see, let's make it very different. Okay, and we're gonna name this triangle A, B, C. And let's practice the opposite idea. So angle A, is opposite the side that sometimes we'll label little a. And to find the opposite of the angle, you draw an arrow straight through the triangle. So this is side little a. So side bc is opposite angle a. So it's never going to have angle a is opposite side bc. You see how when you put together the angle and the side that's opposite from it, you get all three of the letters in the triangle? That always works. So A is opposite BC. So then let's talk about angle B. Angle B is opposite AC. So this is little b. And for angle C, angle C is opposite AB. So this is little c. So that's just the idea of opposites. Next, let's draw a triangle. And we're going to say that this angle is 42, this one is 87, and this is P, Q, R. And for this example, we want to list the sides in order from least to greatest. So in a triangle, um, the largest angle is opposite the longest side. And the, I'm going to use ditto marks, the medium, it's not a great description, but that's a U, the medium angle is opposite the medium length side and the smallest angle these ditto marks just say look straight up above because that's the same word that i'm using i just don't have to rewrite it when i use ditto marks the smallest angle is opposite the shortest or smallest side So thank goodness that all matches up. So if they want us to list the sides in order from least to greatest, so smallest, then medium, then biggest, all we need to do is look at the angles and figure out what the smallest angle is, and then the medium angle, and then the biggest angle. Except they're being a little tricky here because we don't know what angle Q is. We're going to have to figure it out. Well, the triangle sum theorem says that the angles of the triangle add up to 180. So we can add 87 and 42 and subtract that from 180. And we can get that um, angle Q that we needed. So angle Q is 51. And now we can put them in order. Least to greatest, so the smallest Side is going to be opposite the smallest angle. So this is the smallest angle. 
So opposite of it is P, Q. Then the medium one, this is the medium angle. Opposite of that is P, R. And this is our largest angle. And opposite P is R, Q. And the same thing works in the other direction. The longest side is opposite the longest angle, so sometimes they're going to ask us to put the angles in order. So next example. All this um, W, B, T. And let's say this is 15, this is 9, and they tell us that the perimeter of triangle WVT is 37. Hmm. And they want me to list the angles in order from greatest to least. So maybe as we've been doing these examples, you've kind of started to see a couple of things you're going to have to be careful with. Um, are they wanting to list sides or angles? That's important. And what order are they wanting to list it in? Because they're probably going to switch back and forth. Least to greatest, greatest to least. And if you write them in the wrong order, then you've missed it, of course. So we got to be careful. So I'd like to get started putting these angles in order, but I don't know what the length of side WT is. But they did give us a clue. They told us the perimeter of WVT was 37. So that means all the sides added together is 37. So if we can add up the two sides that we know and subtract from the total perimeter, That'll give us the length of this side that's missing. And I promise I don't try to make um, short numbers go with long sides. Like VT looks fairly long and it's um, a smaller value than WT. I don't do that on purpose. Okay, so now you want to list the angles from greatest to least. So the greatest angle is going to be opposite the longest side. So the longest side is 15. What angle is opposite that? T. And then the middle sized angle is going to be opposite the middle length side. So angle B. And last, the smallest side, the 9, which goes with T V. It's going to be opposite the other letter, so angle W. So side TV is opposite angle W. Together we have all three letters, T, V, and W, in that triangle. And that always works that way. All right, I believe that's all we need to see from this section. I'm going to post this for you, and then there's the other video that I want you to watch that explains triangle inequalities. All right, I hope to see you Thursday.